Video editing does not have to be this monumental task to take you from creating your content to posting it to places like Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube. But if anything, today video editing is getting much easier, especially when you have applications that you can download directly to your mobile phone, such as CapCut. This app is completely free to download off the Google Play or the Apple App Store, and it's loaded with features, which I'm gonna show you guys how to use today so you can make your own amazing videos. Once you have the app installed on your mobile device, you can go ahead and launch the application. And the first type of project that I'm gonna work on is actually a vertical TikTok short form video of me explaining how to access Fortnite on your iPhone. So from the home screen of the CapCut app, I'm gonna go ahead and select new project. And here I'm gonna select the video files that pertain to this particular project that I'm working on. So the first clip I need to edit down is actually this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead, select that, and then I'm gonna hold it to grab it. And then I'm gonna move it all the way to the front, the split a clip, I just need to have the clip selected like I do right now, and then select the split icon in that bottom pane. But now I have a chunk of footage in my timeline that I just don't need anymore. So I'm just going to select that clip and then remove it using the trash can icon. Next, something else you probably notice is that I have a horizontal video in my vertical video project. To fix this, all I need to do is select the video picture in the frame and then adjust it using my fingers. What we're gonna do next is add my talking headshot over this footage. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to go to the bottom panel without any of your clips being selected in your timeline and go to the overlay option. From here, you can go and select add overlay. Check off the video that you're looking to add select add and as you can now see that talking headshot is not over my footage but of course i don't want everything that i'm showing in the footage below this to be hidden by my freaking talking face so what we can do while this overlay is selected is go to the bottom panel and find the cutout option select that and then choose remove background give CapCut a minute or so to go through the process but you'll see that your background is removed from your headshot if by chance you need to improve your audio quality then you can leverage the reduced noise feature to make it sound better. The next important thing I need to do here is line up what I'm talking about in this headshot with what's happening in the footage. That took me about 10 minutes to complete. Even with all those cuts that we just matched together, there's still some other cool edits that I want to show to you guys. First off, if you're trying to explain something, you don't want the audio from another track overpowering what you're saying like it just did in that clip. So what we'll do here is select one of those clips, go to the bottom panel, and then we're gonna go to the volume option. We're just gonna put that to mute. Sounds much better now. And then we're also gonna do the same thing for the last clip here. We're gonna go here, select the volume option, and then zoop zeroed out again. Now, how about keyframing? With keyframing, I can adjust the video framing or positioning from one point and then transition it to another point. Let's do that for my overlay clip. So what we're gonna do is find a point to where I want my head to appear. I want it to appear just about here. So I'm gonna select that plus button where the diamond is to set a keyframe. And then we're gonna need to set another keyframe so that we can set the starting position or your ending position, you know, depending on how you're trying to do your keyframing. But in this case, it's gonna be the starting position that I'm going to adjust. And that's gonna be right here. So we're gonna select another keyframe option. And now I'm gonna take my image cutout of myself and just move it off of the screen so that it's hidden. And that way I can create a nice pop-up video effect with my headshot just coming up like that. I'm gonna apply that keyframing effect to a couple areas in this video. I gotta say guys, so far so good. I am digging the edit that we're building here thus far. There is another very important edit that we can add to our video to increase the engagement of people watching, mainly for those viewers out there that don't wanna listen to the audio. Without having any of the videos selected in your timeline, you're gonna to wanna to go to the bottom panel and find the text feature. Within here, you're gonna find an option for auto captions. Go ahead and select that for the sound source. If you did a commentary overlay in one of your videos already, then you can just take the auto captions from the original sound, you can select the language that you're using. Filler words, I'm gonna keep that turned off. In dynamic captions, 
Let's turn that bad boy on. Let's see what it does. I'm good with this. We're gonna select start. As you can see with this feature, every word that you say will have the text on the screen. We don't actually have to settle for the default text format. We can go ahead and adjust the styling, the color, the contrast, text outline, drop shadow, Feel free to go with whatever looks best for your video. One more thing I'll add to this video is some background audio. So I can either select the plus add audio option or I can go in the bottom panel and select audio and then go to sounds. Search for some songs that you might like. They have a lot of different categories from hip hop to EDM to pop. And then they have certain categories like vlog music. If you wanna favorite some of these, just select that bookmark icon so that it'll save. And then when you go to your bookmarks list, you'll see all the songs that you saved. All right, yeah, yeah. That's a vibe, that's a vibe, we'll go with that one. You can go ahead and select the plus button and that'll add the song right onto your video timeline. Now keep in mind, you may wanna trim the edges of this so that it just doesn't go forever. So we'll select the clip, we'll just split it or you can even trim it in if you want uh, and then just delete those, those ends so that way we have a, a smooth beginning and a smooth ending. Uh, we also don't want this audio to overpower our voice in this video. So we're gonna select the track, go to volume, and then we're just gonna turn this volume down a little bit. We can kind of play this back a few times just to make sure that it's at the level that we want so that it's not too soft, not too loud. But once you're happy with it, let's go ahead and check it off. I'm also gonna use the fade option so that way the audio can fade in nice and smoothly and not so abrupt and then we'll also fade it out a little bit as well okay just for fun i'm gonna create another new project here just so i can showcase to you guys some of the cool effects filters and transitions that you can use in your videos since rocket league is one of my favorite games i have a whole bunch of clips on my playstation 5 that i uploaded to my playstation app that i then downloaded to my phone from the playstation app so that i could edit them in cap cut i'm actually going to add my own download of music for this montage so in order to throw it into cap cut i'm going to go to to my Google Drive folder where I uploaded the song. Select the three dotted icon next to that song and then we're gonna find the option for open in. You'll see that it'll prepare to export. And then from here, I'm gonna scroll all the way over to more and now I can go ahead and find the CapCut app, which is right at the bottom here. Select that and my song is placed right in my timeline. One thing I wanted to mention about the music track is that if you have that selected and you go to the bottom panel, you're gonna see an option called beats. You can listen to your song and add in beat markers to different points in the tune so that you know where those downbeats happen so that you can line up, especially montage clips a lot better. If you use one of the songs, that CapCut offers and you try to use this beat feature, you're actually gonna have the ability to auto-generate those beats, which is even better. So that way, every single beat is accounted for across the song and you don't have to do it manually. So that is a pro of using some of the songs within CapCut's app. To apply an effect, just move your player head to where you want the effect to occur. I'm gonna have mine right there. And on that bottom panel, you're gonna wanna go to the effects option then select video effects. There's a whole bunch that you can explore here. So let's go ahead and apply, ooh, I think the explosion one would look pretty sick here, especially with that gold explosion. And oh my gosh, it did look freaking sick. And it's like right at the perfect point too. Let's add some audio sound effects to go along with this. So we're gonna back out of there and then we're gonna go to the audio section. We're gonna go to the effects within audio. I also have some that I bookmarked here as well, but of course, when you're playing around with this app, feel free to go through all of these different categories to see which kind of sound effects that you like. Uh, but within my saved here, we're gonna go with the deep whoosh or maybe the whoosh with echo sound effects. Yeah, let's go with that one. We're gonna add that one on in. So then when the effect happens with the explosion, you kind of hear a sound to go along with it to add to the video experience for the viewer. If you wanna add transitions between the cuts in your video, then just select the icon in between that cut. So it's just a, a straight up and down line. And then you can go through all of the many different transition effects to choose from and apply it to your video. If you wanna add some cool slow motion effects to your videos, you can do that by going to the speed option and selecting one of the several pre-made adjustments like the montage effect, or you can go ahead and make your own. And one more thing, don't forget to adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, even the sharpness a little bit to make your videos pop a little bit more. But now that both of these videos are complete, what we're gonna do is first go to the right hand side where you see 1080p, select that drop down, and then just make sure that the resolution and frame rate 
is in the quality that you want. And then after that, you can go over to the right hand side and select that upload icon and that'll export it directly to your camera roll or your photo library. CapCut has so many features within their app. It's kind of hard to cover it all in one video, but definitely download this for yourself. Check out the features. I'll leave links in the description below to both of the videos that I edited in this video so that you can check those out for yourself. Huge shout out to CapCut for sponsoring this video. You guys have an amazing app with a bunch of incredible free features, and I can't wait to see what other things come in the future. If you enjoyed the video, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Watch this video if you need something else to watch on the YouTube channel. And with that, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.